Here we are, 5.5, solving a rational equation that simplifies to linear, factable, quadratic denominator. So if we take denominator 1, remember the key thing, your denominators must be in their factored forms before figuring out the least common denominator. So this is not in its factored form, but I can factor it. Um, multiples that will multiply to give me positive 15, but add to give me negative 8. So that means they would both have to be negative to multiply to give me a positive, but then add to give me a negative. So then I think they're going to be 5 and 3. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Negative 5 combined with negative 3 will give me negative 8. So that's going to be the factored form for the first denominator. Second denominator is just v minus 5, and third denominator is just v minus 3. So the LCD will be what they have in common. These two have a v minus 5 in common, these two have a v minus 3 in common, and there's nothing else distinct from all of them. So there's no other distinct factors to include. So you want to leave your binomials in parentheses when you're using your LCD. You also want to use the factored version of your denominators when you rewrite this equation. So I'm going to have 2 over the factored version of that denominator, and then times the LCD over 1. And I am going to run out of room here, so I'm going to kind of scoot it down in just a minute. But then I will put it all together in a bit. So this is going to be plus 6 over V minus 3 times the LCD over 1. So I know it's kind of crooked there. I apologize. So here, these are going to cancel. These are going to cancel. This one's going to cancel. And this one's going to cancel. So what do I have left? I have 2 all by itself, and since the only denominator is 1, I don't need to write it as a fraction. Here I'm going to end up with 1 times v minus 3, and here I'm going to end up with plus 6 times v minus 5. So let's go ahead and distribute. We get 1v minus 3 plus 6v minus 30. Combine our like terms on the right hand side, 7v minus 33. Add 33 to both sides, we get 7v equals 35, divide by 7 on both sides, and we get that 5 equals v. Now we've done everything correct, this is our potential solution. Now in order for us to verify whether it is the actual solution, we need to be sure that it doesn't make any of the denominators zero. Now I'm going to test it into the smaller versions because I know that that is those smaller versions together. So if I plug 5 here, I get 5 minus 3, which is 2, not 0. So it's good there. But if I plug 5 in this denominator, I get 5 minus 5, which is 0. Which means this is not going to be our solution. V cannot equal 5. Okay? And because that cannot be our solution, we're going to tell Alex that there is no solution.